You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. 28-13, the final at Winston-Salem. A big win for Wake Forest over North Carolina State with Brian Stan, West Durham. You really didn't know what to think today. NC State had played very, very well. Their only loss was a hard-fought game to Clemson and Raleigh a couple of weeks ago. Wake Forest had struggled. They got a win at Army, but were embarrassed last Saturday at Clemson. So you kind of thought, well, maybe if NC State tends to its knitting, Wake Forest struggles, the NC State would snap this long losing streak they've got in Winston-Salem. But as rivalries go, Brian, it didn't change. Certainly. You know, Wake Forest didn't seem to be a team that had a lot of confidence coming to this game. Even their coaching staff said they were looking for a spark. But, you know, give it an in-state rivalry and a home game against NC State to pull it out of them. And the offense got so creative today. They, look, they love to throw at the number three Michael Campanero. Everybody knows they're going to throw it to him. They found unique pattern blends with these wide receivers to get Campanero open and Tanner Price just had a huge day both throwing the ball and surprisingly also running the football. Defensively Wake Forest handled the multiple formations NC State throws at early in the game and NC State's offense was hot after last week in Central Michigan putting up big numbers but Wake Forest did a nice job not only getting pressure on him but coverage wise keeping everything in front of him. NC State made some adjustments and started to move the football though before half and you see a touchdown here to senior wide receiver Quentin Payton for NC State. Looked like they were going to have the momentum going to the locker room, but Wake Forest quickly marched back down the field. Spencer Bishop, the tight end, with a huge play to get them in position. And of course, you know, for the touchdown, they go back to number three. Beautiful route running, finds the opening, and Price puts it on the money again. They get the momentum going into halftime. Coming out in the second half, picked up right where they left off. Tanner Price had the hot hand. Michael Campanero beat man coverage here deep. Another touchdown for Camp. NC State tried to get it going, but Kevin Johnson, along with the rest of his senior class and his football team, made the plays to put a stop to it. Can't say enough about Price. He finishes the leading rusher for the Deacons. 82 yards, throws for 268. It's a career high in terms of total offense for him. Oh, he was so sharp today. And you know, some of the critical piece about Tanner Price early in the season, they were trying to run offenses that just didn't fit his talent. He's been here a long time, done a lot of things well. Today, they got back to what he does well. Drop back, get rid of the football, put it on the money, spread it around, and you can see the emotion. This is a quiet young man. When you see Tanner Price getting that excited, you know he's hot. And that's what they needed out of him. They needed him to step up and lead this football team. He did that today, both with his attitude and his play. Syracuse visits Raleigh next week. The Wolfpack now 0-2 in conference play. Wake, their first ACC win, and a week off before Maryland comes to Winston-Salem. 28-13 the final, and this is the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. <laughs>